first of all i would like to uh, endorse the uh, fact that today we are living in an industrial civilization industrial civilization that is being run on the capitalist economic model so that said what point i want to uh, uh, make is that human history is 10000 12000 years old known human history and in those thousands of years only 1 1 degree centigrade of global temperature was increased but in 1890 when the first industries were being set in england from that point until 2000 degree centigrade temperature rose in just a span of 100 years now in that time the industries and the uh, uh, industry was being set up so the 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 process was in progress of this of, of, of the, the whole process but now during the time in which we live the i would say the monster of industrial civilization is working at its speed and considering these facts the natural scientists warned previous year that if if in 15 to 20 years the way our world functions is not changed then this process of uh, climate change and i would say ecological destruction would become irreversible i mean if 1 degree centigrade or po- even 0.5 degree centigrade temperature average temperature is being raised globally then all those processes that are leading us towards an ecological disaster which means uh, the, the 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 survival of human of animals of plants would not be possible or possible in, uh, in our planet so that process of destruction would become irreversible in 15 to 20 years so i would like to endorse what all of us must know very clearly that we are living at the crossroads of history at this crossroads we can either go towards a just socio economic model towards a pro people pro climate pro plants pro animal human civilization or towards a complete absolute annihilation that would come at the cost of billions of lives of living things and misery having that said now i would specifically uh, like to uh, point out uh, the way the agrarian setup is being established during the green revolution so in agriculture this process of uh, industrializing agriculture basically started in 1960s that is being called the green revolution so it was basically the most ungreen thing that happened in our planet so in 1960s uh, pesticides fertilizers chemicals herbicides machinery this stuff was introduced in agriculture which caused a sudden rise in the uh, per acre production in the production of crop so this was the only benefit that came about of green revolution while on the other hand first of all there was a concept of agriculture community agriculture family agriculture uh, a traditional agriculture in which people farmed their lands for serving their food purpose and the needs of their communities so in this shift agriculture became a business and with the on with the i would say the onslaught of these pesticides herbicides and fertilizers the those people the rich ones that had large swathes of lands they were the people that who benefited of of all this shift so those local farmers those small farmers were misplaced of their lands and they were sent in the cities to become 
the industrial workers who landless and property less industrial workers in the cities so at, at at this point that happened due to the use of fertilizers and herbicides and pesticides the biodiversity that our lands our soils our region had that was that were all dis, uh, diminished because of the use of excessive chemicals and then the thin monoculture that was introduced by the colonial powers in our region we had the huge tradition of growing multiple crops of different sort of crops that that were sustainable and uh, resistant to different diseases and different pesticides but with the uh, colonial powers introduced uh, 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 monoculture the trend of sowing one or two crops in the whole year became very much uh, fashionable and it continued till then so crop uh, crops that were mostly grown were wheat rice sugar cane and cotton so due to this due to these very basic prime changes we we lost we lost the community agriculture we lost our biodiversity we lost the the uh, the, the uh, sustainable and and the pro environment aspect of agriculture so these are the reasons that agriculture oscillates between the second and third major contributor towards the global emissions during that time when crops are standing crops are there in the field that are about to be harvest then there are so much rains that the whole year uh, produce of farmers is lost to those rains that are induced of climate changes there are extremes of climate there are very there there are heat waves and then there are droughts at the time and then at the other time there are floods that that just clean the sweep out the fields of the farmer and the other thing that i want to say that across the coastal areas of sel millions of acres of fertile cultivable land is being engulfed to the sea level in the in the districts of badin and thatha so these are the changes that are very evident in agriculture that i have just pinned point it is not the to blame the industry uh, or industrial civilization for for the climate changes and the changes we are seeing globally but it is the economic model that is to blame for such sort of inequalities and the global uh, changes in the climate so what we need to do is we need to rethink the way our civilization is working we need to rethink the socio economic models that run our world what we need is a just economic and social model that is pro people that is pro climate that is pro women and that is for all the peoples of this world and not just for some billionaires whose wealth comes at the cost and lives and livelihoods of millions of people of our rivers of our lands and our natural resources thank you so much